Hey developers, welcome to another video and I hope it will be quite interesting for you. In this video, I'm going to teach you about how to install the Telvin CSS and Alpine JS. Previously, as I have created a series on Telvin CSS, which is a crash course. Uh, and the link is in the description and the card above so you can visit that and learn how to install Telvin CSS or set up Telvin CSS easily with the CLI option and in this video we will learn about how to set up these both together the Telvin CSS and the Alpine JS as you can see Alpine JS is looking quite cool like you said your new lightweight JavaScript framework Though we cannot compare it with the Vue or React or Angular, but it is so lightweight and so special for SPA single page applications and it's quite interesting. So simple, so lightweight and powerful. We can see 15 attributes, 6 properties and 2 methods. So it will be very easy to learn and for simple uh, single page applications it's like uh, heavily useful. You can now easily set up uh, set up Alpine JS with the Telvin CSS and use it for your own purpose. So, though I have the series, but I will do it once again in this video, but with the with a little speed. And when reaching to Alpine, I'll explain it how to set up and run both of them. So let's dive into it. I have a folder called Test here, and I have dragged it to the Visual Studio Code. And here, I'll open the terminal and first uh, let's the set up the Telvin CSS so we have to install Telvin and run this command on our terminal let's wait for it to install uh, so we have now installed the Telvin CSS let's initiate it and have the Telvin config file with this command so we'll get a Telvin.config file here as you can see and then we can configure the uh, contents we will have uh, some html5 files maybe uh, in our root folder so we can just say all the dot html this will refer to the root folder after that we have to uh, create the source folder and in and give this all uh, telvin directives to our source folder so let's copy it from here and uh, create a source folder then inside this let's create a for called styles.css and paste all the directives of Telvin here next let's go to the terminal and build our CSS with the CLI so uh, instead of building it with the uh, terminal I'll do something else so you will get it so let's copy this command instead of going to terminal i'll just go to packages.json and create some scripts object here and just name it build css then column again here i'll paste the command here build instead of input.css we have styles.css and the output will be css and the watcher must be and uh, start after that so let's save it and let's see what's the matter here scripts we got we forgot to give a comma okay let's save now uh, this was about the telvin and now we can run this command to start watching uh, on our terminal npm uh, run build css let's see we'll get a public folder here with style.css inside it and now we can uh, create in our root folder index.html and let's test if Telvin is successfully installed so first let's link our Telvin file from public slash style.css and let's give the body a class of bg blue for example 500 let's run it on the browser yeah so the Telvin is fine now it's time to configure the alpine js so going to the installation 
okay we have the CDN option as well we can just include this but if you want to install it via the npm we have the option install npm install with point js as you know that we uh, for the Telegram CSS we just use this script to build our CSS file from the styles.css in source folder to the public folder and style.css file the same thing we will need for the uh, alpine js let me uh, open another terminal and we have this install the alpine js so for the for the same thing we will need for the alpine js so after installing this alpine js uh, i recommend you to install uh, like a bundler yes yes build is uh, a bundler so we can use it to bundle our uh, alpine scripts to our uh, output folder so uh, yes build is also let's go to the documentation and we have to bring this one import alpine from the node modules folder then we have to assign it to our window and start it so let's go to the uh, source folder create a new file like script.js then paste all the things needed for the alpine now the same thing if you want to bundle it with the es build so we can do it on the each time on the terminal but this will get a little big so we can go to this packages.json put a comma here name it like build js and for that let's give that npx instead of telling css now we have the bundler es build and giving the input file like we can say that in the source folder slash script dot js and the out file dash dash out file and is uh, equals to which out file now the public and script dot js dash dash build and then dash dash watch this means that build and watch are uh, like uh, our scripts so let's once again run this one as well let's see if it's, it works fine npm run build js the name that we have given to our script so it is better to use this name instead of each time running this uh, big uh, statement so we got some error let's see i think is about the out file i don't know what's the error here maybe it's like something like out file let's try again oh we got again the error let me just uh, see what's the mat i think this is not bundle this is not built this is bundle let's save it and run again yeah so now it's fine and as we tested our uh, like um, our tailwind we can test our alpine as well let me just uh, do it a little bit easier let's go to alpine js and copy this the first code that they have put in on their website let's paste it here let's save it and go to our browser and let's see our top expand the content let's click not working okay one thing more we have not linked our script js yet though we have it in our public folder but we have not linked so in the bottom of the document we can just say script source and link it like public slash script version. let's save it and, and now it's working when we click on the expand expand it will expand the content so everything is working fine this was about to how to set up Telvin CSS and Alpine JS. Now both are set up together. Uh, hope you get something. Kindly like, subscribe, and share this channel. Thank you very much.